Hello everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain HPMC and these are our top five low profile roost deflectors. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. So today we wanna to share with you our top five picks for low profile roost deflectors. If that's what you're in the market for, one that you can wear over top of the jersey, but also when you wear underneath the jersey, it's gonna be minimalistic, not look too bulky. Well, then this video should really help you out because there's a lot of great options out there, but we've narrowed it down to our top five. So we're gonna go through and talk about these. We'll talk about the differences between them, the different price points, just to help steer you in the right direction. But remember, when you do find one that you like, watch the product spotlights that we have for each one of these where we talk about them in full detail. And if you do have questions or comments, leave those below. We will definitely get your questions answered. And to kick this video off, first roost reflector that we have up here is the MSR Blockade. Look, if you're just looking for a roost deflector that's gonna be very comfortable, lightweight, it's gonna offer good coverage at a great price point, you're right around 70 bucks for this, then this would be a really good option. I've got Daniel here who is wearing it. Daniel's about six feet, one inches tall, 180 pounds, he's got a 40 inch chest. This just comes in one adult size and it says from ranges from 120 up to 240 pounds. So you can use Daniel as a frame of reference, but remember, all the roost deflectors that we sell at Rocky Mountain, they're all in a parallel item. So if you get one, if you're not happy with the size of fit, send it back in brand new unused condition and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. But with the blockade, you can see hard plastic shell in the front. You've got good venting holes here. You've got a good amount of coverage in the front. You've got adjustment straps around the waist. You've also got adjustment straps here on the top. If Daniel turned the face of the back real quick, you see the back plate's very large, so it offers good coverage all the way up, all the way down, side to side as well. Daniel faces back to the front real quick. Last thing we'll talk about with the blockade as far as roost deflectors go, or excuse me, neck braces. This is what we found to be neck brace compatible. So we actually tried this on with neck braces. You could wear it over top, but what we actually like to do is take the neck brace and put it underneath the front as well as the back plate. And that way we found it offers really good fitment with the neck brace. Now, last thing I do want to point out with the blockade, this compared to all the other roost deflectors in our lineup is probably going to be what you could call the bulkiest. In other words, over top the jersey, it looks great. Underneath the jersey, it's not going to be the most low profile, but again, price point, you're only about 70 bucks, so it's a great deal. That is the blockade from MSR. All right, second up in the lineup, this is the Revo 4 coming from EVS. So price point on this, you step up just a few dollars from that blockade from MSR. Now with the Revo 4, this is really built to be underneath the jersey fitment if you ask me and I'll explain why. So I've got Daniel here, he's wearing the large, extra large. I just have it in two sizes, two different colorways, a black and a white. But the size large, extra large is for 125 pounds plus. You'll notice though, you've got the hard plastic shield here in the front, plenty of ventilation. You've got some soft padding that wraps around the rib cage area. This will work with neck braces. We've tried it on with different brands. Now here's why I say this is really more intended for underneath the jersey fitment. You've got your stone shield in the front. You've got your straps that are adjustable in the back, but you'll notice when you look at the back, there is no back plate. So you're just getting chest protection in the front. So if that's what you're in the market for, very minimalistic, low profile, really intended for under the jersey fitment, then this would be a rock solid option. Again, this is the Revo 4 from EVS. Third up on our list, this is the A1 from Alpine Stars. Now, the A1 is what a lot of the top Alpine Stars athletes are wearing. I've seen Eli Tomac wearing this, Blake Baggett, Jason Anderson, Justin Barsha. This is a very popular roost guard. You do jump up a little bit in price. You're about $120. I've worn this one personally. Very comfortable. I like the fitment. There are some other cool features about it. So you can see plenty of coverage here in the front. It's not going to be CE certified. It's just going to be a stone shield. You've got your straps here. They're going to be adjustable. I like that this one fits the curvature of the body. It's very comfortable when you have it on. Adjustable shoulder straps. Daniel, turn and face the back for me. So in the back, couple features I like. You'll notice that you have this piece here in the top. This is removable, so you can wear a neck brace over top, get a little bit better fitment, or you have some modularity if you want to. This entire back piece is removable. There's a Y strap underneath here, so you can take this off if you want to run it backless. But got a few different options there. Back to the front for me, Daniel. Now this roost deflector does have shoulder pads. I'm gonna admit, they're not my favorite. I don't think they do a whole lot, but one function that they do serve is if you are wearing the Alpine Stars Bionic neck brace, you actually have these tabs right here to help secure that, keep it in place, so you don't have to wear the chest strap. But overall, with the A1, I'm a big fan, very comfortable, very low profile underneath the jersey, but also keep in mind, there is a plus version to this now, which is gonna extend this padding here on the edges out just a little bit further. So if you're looking for a little bit more coverage, they have the option available. Daniel is wearing the medium large. Again, that's the A1 from Alpine Stars. 
Fourth up on the list, this is the RaceFrame Softback CE Roost Deflector from Fox Racing. So recently, Fox actually revamped their entire lineup of roost deflectors. There's actually three different versions of the RaceFrame, and of all three versions there are, I actually really like the Softback the most. So you are gonna jump up in price here, about 160 bucks, but there are some features that I really like about this new race frame, and one cool fact about this, they designed this with Ken Roxon, so they got the features and the fit that he was looking for in the new race frame. So Daniel here, he's wearing the size small medium, remember 40 inch chest, use him as a frame of reference, but it's very comfortable. I have one of these, very low profile underneath the jersey. You've got this chest plate here, you can see hard plastic, a lot of vent cutouts to get the airflow going through. Underneath this chest plate right here in the middle, there is some impact foam underneath that, that's what gives it that CE rating. Adjustable shoulder straps as well as a waist strap, Daniel, turn and face the back. So here's what makes this the soft back version. You notice that the entire back plate is Fox's proprietary F3 armor. It's a molecular armor. It's like D3O armor. So as impact is introduced to it, it firms up. It does a great job of dissipating energy. But what I also like about this soft back version is that when it warms up from the rider's body heat, it becomes malleable, it becomes flexible. So it does a great job, you can see, of fitting the curvature of the back. So I kind of prefer this over just maybe the hard plastic shield that some have in the back, just because it's very low profile and it just gives a really good, almost you can say, customized fit once it warms up from your body heat. So I'm a big fan of the soft back version. And just like with the front, this is also gonna be CE certified. Certified. All right, down the face of the front. As far as neck brace compatibility, I've worn this with a couple different neck braces, so yes, it will work with those. But overall, rock solid design. I like what they've done with it. Again, this is the Race Frame Softback CE from Fox Racing. All right, so to finish everything off, we have the 5900 from Troy Designs. I've spent a lot of time in this roost deflector. It's been one of my favorites over the years. It's very comfortable. It's very low profile. When you wear this underneath the jersey, it's very comfortable against the skin. They use shock doctor foam underneath the hard plastic outer, so it's very comfortable. And one thing I just I love about this roost deflector is when you put it on, it just wraps around the rib cage very nicely. So it just has a nice, comfortable fit to it. You've got plenty of coverage in the front as well as the back. You notice too that up here at the top, you've got a nice large opening as well as the back so when it comes to neck brace fitment i've worn multiple different neck braces with this roost deflector i think as far as that goes this is one of the better options for different styles or different brands of neck braces i think they did a good job with that now my only nitpick with the 5900 is just price point you're about 175 bucks so it is the most expensive one in the lineup but at that price it's not ce rated but other than that I love everything about the 5900. Daniel here, he is wearing a size large. And that does it for our top five low profile roost deflectors. Again, if you guys have questions or comments about any of these, we wanna get those answers, so leave those below. I've written in literally every roost deflector that you saw up here today, so if you want some more of my feedback, maybe compare two of them, I'm more than happy to do that, so leave your questions or comments below. Mm -hmm. To pick up your next roost deflector, it's very simple. Click on the link or head over to rockymountatvmc.com. Remember, order's over 75 bucks, ship free. If you guys like this top five, get subscribed to our YouTube channel, give it a thumbs up, that way you stay up to date. And also, if maybe you're looking for a roost deflector or a chest guard that's maybe offers, that offers maybe a little bit more coverage, check out our top five full coverage roost deflectors to see some better options in that category. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.